So here we are, another week of renovations at Chateau de Bruges has been completed. Over the next 15 minutes you'll get to see a glimpse of all the things that we've achieved this week. With the ongoing renovation in the newest bedroom Louis and finishing touches to other previously renovated rooms around the chateau, you're bound to find something you enjoy. And if you don't, there's always next week. If you do enjoy the video, please consider leaving a like and a comment. It really helps the channel continue to grow and more importantly for you, it's completely free and only takes 30 seconds. Thank you to everyone for your ongoing support of the channel and we really hope that you enjoy the video. Welcome back to bedroom five. If you haven't watched last week's video yet, do so now and you'll see what we've done in here so far. I'm now gonna tell you what we're gonna do this week. So I'm gonna start off by running the hot water pipe from here over to where the shower's going um, and connecting up my drainage and water supply for here. Then I've gotta run water pipes, uh, waste pipes all along here to the shower which is going here. Then we're gonna build a partition wall across here which forms the room here for the shower room, but most of the work is going on in here with Danielle. So in the bedroom, we're gonna be looking to do lots of preparation, um, decoration preparation. We're gonna be looking to fill and sand the walls and the ceiling, strip the metal work that are already on the windows, all ready for paint in the future. So enjoy the video and uh, yeah, we'll get cracking. I didn't manage to video his first job of the week as dad sorted the water pipes and drainage faster than a knife fight in a phone booth. So we start with the construction of the partition wall and the deconstruction of the wallpaper, otherwise known as stripping. Danielle taking some time to demonstrate where the production budget for this week's video has been spent. The Lasgu laser level coming in handy once again. Is it just me that gets Chuckle Brother vibes watching this back? To me, to you, to you, to me. The ease of these metal tracks is unparalleled. This wall went up in absolutely no time and is a lot easier, quicker and less mess than making the frame from wood. With an added bonus being that you can guarantee that the metal lengths are straight, unlike a lot of the timber lengths available in the French DIY shops. Those of you that have followed the channel for some time now know exactly what's going on here and therefore we're not going to bore you with it for too long. So you would have seen the painted glass windows in the background of Danielle just painted them and you will obviously also see that these ones are a lot more faded than the ones were in the downstairs toilet that we renovated recently. Now we think this is because obviously this this is the direction that the sun rises in, so it's gonna get a lot more of the sunlight throughout the day. Uh, and it's obviously a floor higher, so it's got a little bit stronger than it is a floor below. Um, but we want to keep them. And the reason that we want to keep them is because the previous, previous owner, Louis Francois, um, was the man that actually painted these. And he came to visit the chateau last year and said, wow, I can't believe they're still there. Um, so, not only are we going to get my mum, hopefully, if you're watching mum, I know this is a surprise to you, but 
we're hoping that you at some point this summer will come over and uh, and repaint the stained glass windows as well um, and again that brings me on to the fact that the room is then obviously called Louis for a very good reason and that is because this is the bedroom that used to belong to Louis Francois um, so it's a nice fitting tribute for him to name the room after him uh, and keep something of, of him within the chateau. Wait until you see the result of these metal hinges and handles after being stripped of paint. It's a beautiful transformation. So we recently took delivery of some made to measure frames to finally hang some of Uncle Jeffrey's beautiful artwork in the recently renovated dining room. Also, take notice of the big blank space above the piano. That's all about to change too. We've been eagerly waiting to hang some more of Uncle Jeffrey's artwork in the chateau and we're positive he'd be so proud to hear that so many people love his work. We can't wait to share stories about his artwork with our guests. I'm sure you'll agree that having Uncle Jeffrey's artwork on the wall perfectly adds the finishing touches to the beautiful dining room. Now for the big blank space above the piano. Some of you may remember a while ago we mentioned about getting a wooden map of France so our guests can show us where on the map they've come from or are going to on their travels. Those of you eagle-eyed viewers will also notice we have the French colonies spread onto the wall in their respective directions. It seems that France once conquered quite a lot of the southern hemisphere. And there's little us at Chateau de Bruges in La Pérouse. So there's this guy and he's drinking in the bar and he looks over the bar and there's an attractive lady having a drink the other side of the bar. And he just keeps looking up at her every now and then and then one point this lady lets out a massive sneeze and her false eye comes flying out and the guy goes bosh got a false eye so he just goes over to her at the bar and he says uh hi love having a drink yeah enjoying yourself yeah he said uh, when you sneezed your eye came out he gave her her eye back all, all quietly so no one noticed and she was like oh my god thank you very much put her eye back in Thank you very much, that's really kind of you, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. He said, no, that's no problem, he said, pretty little thing like you, I'm surprised that anyone would notice anyway. So she said, oh, you're lovely, can I buy you a drink? Oh, that's very nice. So she buys him a drink, and they have a couple of drinks together, they get chatting. She says to him, oh, do you want to come out for a meal? He says, oh, that'd be lovely, yeah. So they go out for a meal, and they're having a great time, and she says, why don't you come back to my place? So they go back to her place. In the morning, she cooks him breakfast, he thinks this is wonderful. So he's eating his breakfast and he says, do you, uh, do you do this often then with guys that you meet in the bar? She said, no, no, I've never done it with anyone else. You just caught my eye. <laughs> I was waiting so long to figure out what the punchline was going to be. <laughs> nice one, Graham. I see what you did there. Sorry, that joke was so cornier. Oh, and with that one, I am going to leave. With fun time over, it was time to get back to work. Danielle and I were tasked with taking the uneven plaster and tile adhesive off the bathroom walls, ready for their new plaster next week, all while Dad completed the first layer of plaster around the new bathroom door.
You can see why we want to restore the painted glass windows. They create such beautiful patterns of light on the walls. Just watch how it moves throughout the time lapse. With the first coat of plaster around the door done and all the old plaster and tile adhesive knocked off the wall, the room's ready for its final skim of plaster next week. So as many of you know, we've been living in the Jeet at the moment and going over there for our lunches. Today is the first day that we have the opportunity to eat our lunch outside. Bonjour. Lovely and warm, isn't it? Beautiful. Who wouldn't? want to eat their lunch here. This is a ball chaser. It makes a lot of noise and a lot of mess. So here I'm chasing out two channels in the wall to house the hot and cold water pipes for the shower. The wall chaser makes light work of the 600mm thick granite walls and with the hoover attachment it minimises the mess made. The really messy bit is knocking out the core of the lines. Cut back to me when I've had my lunch and I've got a bit more energy. I've had my lunch and I've got a bit more energy. Let's go. The hammer drill certainly makes this job a lot quicker. So Dad, I haven't managed to get much footage of you doing this because you did it so quickly, but do you want to summarise what you've been up to? Yep, so this is the area where the sink's going uh, and the alcove that was already there is just a little bit too low where we want the sink to sit, the sink to sit. Try saying that when you've had a few. Um, so I'm just building it up with a couple of layers of bricks and then we're going to have a nice piece of oak sitting on the top and then all this will just be plastered and rendered up so it will just look like the alcove is coming to the perfect height. So it doesn't look the prettiest but doesn't need to. Last couple of jobs before the weekend. I'm constructing a wooden structure that will act as a shelf for the shower and Danielle is ending the week with her favourite job, taping and filling. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help us to grow the channel. I'm in my new kitchen using it for the first time. We have friends coming over this evening, so I'm cooking them a lovely three course meal and I'm loving all this workspace. Next week's video, you can see more progress on bedroom five. We're gonna make big progress next week and also preparing for some guests who come the following week. The season is starting. See you soon. Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Will you wicked hands? <laughs>